Hi, this is Ginger from In Sheep's Clothing Yarn Shop in Torrington, Connecticut, here to welcome you to another episode of A Focus on Fiber. Today I have the perfect project that is not only quick and easy, but makes a great gift. I have these necklaces here that are a combination of crochet and beads. Um, now originally these necklaces were made with this particular type of yarn right here, which is called a ladder yarn. Um, it's very decorative and it was we used to use this a lot for making uh, scarves and um, what you could do if you didn't want to do beads um, and this is how these necklaces kind of originated was you just crocheted this yarn up and you just had a pretty little lightweight necklace um, and those are great except that I realized that maybe a little weight was um, would be better suited for the necklaces. So that's where I thought like, okay, let's do beads. Let's add some beads to these necklaces. So you can make these really, really simply. Um, and the simplest way to do this would be to take um, some of your yarn and just make a chain. Um, you could just do it like that. But then if you want to add your beads, what you have to do is you have to um, apply add the beads to the yarn and the way that we do that is we have our little container and our beads now I use two different sizes of beads um, and depending on the size of your yarn now this this um, necklace here was a much um, finer it's a little hard to see this but it's a much finer uh, yarn um, a little narrower um, ladder where this one is a little bit wider ladder yarn so you know obviously you would need a little bit larger bead to be able to go on to the yarn so I'm going I used either a size 10 or an 8 bead uh, the 10 would be a smaller bead which I would have used for this and an 8 for this one and for this one here um, and you can use whatever kind of bead, you know, size-wise, you know, the 8 or the 10, but you can use a solid bead, a multicolored like I did here. Um, today we're going to be using a size um, 8 bead in the black. And what I find the easiest thing to do is you can kind of lay them out on the table. You want to probably use a, a towel. It would, it would hold your beads better. Like these are probably going to slide around, so I'm probably not going to leave these here because I will guarantee to lose them. I'm just going to put them in the container here. Now, you can use a beading needle or what I find, which is readily available, very inexpensive, are these floss threaders. Um, so you can find these in the drugstore. And what I do is I take my yarn. Um, Let's see, what I'm going to do is I'll just take this scrap one here and so say that you want to, so what I do is they have the big loop here. You just put your yarn through the loop like this, okay, and make sure that you leave a long enough tail. And then what you want to do is you want to scoop up the beads. Now you can put them on one by one if you want. I'm always in a hurry, so to me that's a little slow. Is you can either get you know a little container like this or like a lid, a shallow lid is actually preferable. And you just want to scoop up your beads onto your threader. And I try to grab a few at a time, um, like that. Oops. Okay. This is the most time consuming part is putting the beads on. So then you just slide them down through like this and they just easily slide down. And what I kind of like to do, which I make, makes life a little easier, is I'll slide all the beads down. I leave one on, which holds your double strand in place so that it doesn't accidentally, when you go to pull, pull off of your threader and you're not constantly re-threading your threader. So you're just going to slide them down like this. So actually what I probably should do is we're going to do it on the one I've already prepared. Now I find, you know, for the particular size that I have here, now this measures about a 13 inch length. Um, to get a 13 inch length, you need to cut a piece that is about a hundred and... 70 
180 inches long in order to get one strand. Now, if you see here, I have several strands. So you'll do like, here I have two, four, I have six strands. You can do however many you want. You can add more, you can you know do less, you can make them longer. But if you wanna make them longer, you just have to take into consideration that you're gonna to need to add more. Now, one way, of the way I figured out how much length I needed was I just took my yarn and I just chained the length that I wanted it to be finished. And then I just unchained it. And then I had my length. So that's nice and easy. You know how quickly it is just to do a quick chain. Um, and this is great for somebody that, as far as crochet, that all they know how to do is to chain. Very simple. And you know what? Even if you don't know how to crochet, you can still make these necklaces. All you have to do is thread your beads onto the yarn and then what you would do is just have your length and just figure out how many beads you want to put on and then have your beads and then tie a little knot. Slide your bead, tie a little knot. Slide your bead, tie a little knot. And that'll keep your beads in place so that they all, don't all go down you know, to the bottom. Um, and this way you'll just, you'll just see the, you know, the, the change yarn and your little beads and it'll still give you the the, the weight that you want. And it'll still look very pretty, but you don't have to worry about doing the chaining. So, but we're assuming that, okay, you're gonna do crochet. So here's our piece now. And now you can either, you know, you can figure out about how many beads you wanna put on a strand. Um, now this, I happen to put a ton of beads on it. I think, I mean, I really put a lot of beads. Um, and the way that I did this was I chained, slid a bead, chained, slid a bead. So there's a lot of beads on here. Later, I kind of smartened up and said, you know, I don't need quite that many beads, although it does make, it really does make it nice, is um, you could just put way fewer beads on um, and, and just go with that. That's a lot easier. Um, I did it here too, just not quite as many beads. So you can just start out with a certain amount and say, okay, I'm gonna put this many beads on each strand. And what you would do is cut out, so 170, 80 um, inches of, of yarn times six of them, okay? So I'm going to attach my yarn and I'm going to add a few beads on here so you can see how this works. And the beads are, go by weight. I mean, they generally have about the same amount of beads per tube, but it's not exact. So just slide these down. Now, this one here, because it was much smaller beads, and even though the yarn was thinner, it was a little bit of a challenge to um, slide the bead down through two layers of yarn like that. This, this size makes it much easier. Um, so I kind of prefer this. That, that was great, but um, doing it, looking forward, I would do a bigger bead. But that's totally up to you. So you just, just keep adding the beads on here. And this is something great that you can do just in front of the TV. Just bead away. You know, just slide the beads on. And I'm, I'm just going to put so many on and then we'll just do our single strand so you can see how that works. Now also what you can do too, instead of doing like say the six strands of beads, like um, beads that I have here, what I did with this one here was I made one giant strand of beads. I just took one really long length of yarn. Actually, I think what I probably did was I left it on the, on the ball and just started to, I just put the, the beads onto the yarn and then just chained as I went. And then when I, ha I went through it as much yarn as I wanted to, I just cut them and then I just double, I just stranded, I think I have one, two, three, four. I just looped them and then what I did was I tied them together 
and this would go in the back there. So then you have multi strands without having to cut and, and put them all together. So that's one way of doing it too, nice and easy. As you, once you've done one, you'll kind of figure out what's the easiest thing for you to do or what pleases you to do. You know, don't always have to go for the easiest way. Um, now, another thing that you can do too, when it comes to finishing these, like this has virtually no finishing. Um, this one here, you can see that what we did was we just tied and have a knot at the back here. If you wanted to and make it look even nicer, is you can put a finishing, um, one of the little clasps. Um, on the end here um, and just have a nice finished clasp there and it looks a little bit more like a piece of jewelry. And I suppose if you wanted to you can even go ahead instead of doing a um, necklace you could do a bracelet. Okay so I'm going to slide a few more on here. Okay, so let's say that's enough. There we go. Okay, now I found that hook-wise, uh, you know, it also depends on how you knit, and it depends on the size of your your um, ladder yarn too. Is I'm using an H for this. You could, if you wanted to, I believe this one is a this is an I. To me, it's a little bit bigger, but it depends. If you're a tight crocheter, you might want to go for the I, but I'm, I'm working with the, um, the uh, H. So now what you want to do is, when you get started, is you want to make sure you leave a long enough piece so that you have something to tie at the end. So I leave a little, you know, a little length there. And that's worked into the, to the figure, too, of 170, 180 inches. So then what I want to do is do my slip, slip knot, okay, and then all I'm going to do, now with the amount of beads that I have here, like I said, you can determine, you know, if you have a ton of beads and you want to put on a whole bunch of beads, that's fine. What you can do is, so I'm going to chain a couple, so I'll just chain one, two, and you don't want to do it too tightly. Uh, let's do three. I'm going to do four. And let's just see what this looks like. Then I'm going to slide a bead into place. Just like that. So there's my bead. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crochet past that bead. I'm going to crochet another chain. There we go. So that locks that bead into place. So now I'll do one. Let's keep it, we'll keep it even two, three, four. Now the other thing too is with this type of yarn, between the multicolors and the texture of it, you're not going to see if you say do four and oh you skipped and you did three the next time, nobody's ever going to notice that. So now what I'm going to do is just slide that bead into place against that last chain and I'm going to do another chain to lock that bead into place. There we go. So now I have the, the two beads like that and I'm going to do another chain. One, two, three, four. Now you can decide if you like the look of that. So there's your every fourth chain. We're trying this out, so let's see what it looks like if we do it a little bit closer. So let's see. We did four. All right, let me slide a bead now. So we slide that bead into place. Chain one. Now the fact that the bead is that much heavier, I probably wouldn't want to do it quite as close as I did here where I did every chain. Well, I can show you what it looks like if I do that. So there's, there's one bead. Uh, chain. Wait a minute, did I chain? Chain. Lock that into place. Slide another bead into place. Chain. And let's get some beads going here. Since so we're doing them so close. Chain another bead. Chain. Slide another bead. 
chain. Who knows, maybe I'm going to end up really liking how this looks. But in that case, we really need a lot more beads. Okay, so there you go. That's a lot of beads. That's a lot of beads. Those are, those are, and the big beads. I think I like the look of this better, smaller beads. So to me, that's a little bit much. So I don't like that. So we're just going to rip that out. Go back to the initial. Uh, probably have to rip. Maybe not. So if we can get this bead out, probably can't now. Okay, that bead's locked into place. Oh, there we go. Got me. Have to get my crochet hook through there. Okay, so that bead's in place. So now I'm going to chain. I think I like the chain four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little short piece of this and then just kind of show you. Um, let's just pretend I'll do another one. Four. Now let's slide another bead. Okay. So we'll say this is our end. One, two, three, four. Now what we do is we want to make sure we have our tail on this side. Okay. So we want to make sure we have the same amount for the tail on the other side. So let's just measure that out. Slide our beads out. Okay, so there we go. So let's just cut right there. Okay, and now what we want to do is just draw the end through our loop, our last chain. Tighten it up. There we go. So let's just pretend that's our bracelet or a little necklace. Okay, so that's one strand. So then what you would do is just do another one. And I'm just going to do one more so that you can see how we would finish, how we would finish it. And then what we want to do again, slide our beads down out of the way. So we want to match this up because we want all our strands to be the same. Okay, I just said that. If you wanted to, doing this necklace, these are all the same size. But say that you wanted to have um, longer, shorter, shorter, you could take that into consideration. And we still want to have the same length for this here where we put our um, our so that we have enough to um, finish our necklace we'll start here but the part where we do the crochet you can either make longer or shorter so we're going to do the chain four one two three Four, slide a bead into place and then chain one to lock it. So there's one. If I can get my hook through. One, two, three, and four. Get these out of the way. Uh, slide one into place. One, two, three, four, slide the bead into place, and let's see, how many did we do here? I think we did one, two, oh, I got two in one place. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's, let's work with five. So we have one, two, chain one, lock it in place, two, three, and four. Next bead. Lock it in place. There it is, okay. Two, three, and four. Slide one more in place. So that's, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's our last one. So we're going to lock that into place and then do one, two, three, and four. Slide our beads out of the way here. We'll get knotted up. 
That is one thing you have to be careful with this yarn. It really gets tangled up very easily. Don't want to pull anything too tightly and create a knot. Okay, so let's see, where are we here? All right, so we want to slide these beads out of the way. Um, and then we need to measure our tail again. There we go. And cut. And then we're going to draw that last chain through. Okay, tighten it up. And there's our second piece. I also kind of like to pull it and kind of um, puts the bead into place nicely. Same thing with this one here. Let's pull this one. There we go. Pull it into place. So there's our two. So we're just pretending that that's our little necklace. So see how the two the strands are together? We'll do one last one just for good measure here. And then we'll, we'll finish it up. So again, we make sure that we leave our tail. Okay, and we're going to start right here, and we do our slip knot, and then we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Slide our bead into place. Lock it with the first chain. One, two, three, and four. Slide another one to place. Whoops. One, two, three, and four. Go. Slide that one into place. One, two, three, and four. Slide into place. I think we're getting close to. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, one more. Slide into place, or lock into place. Two, three, and four. Whoops. Okay, we're running out of yarn here. Get the speeds out of here. Okay, and we're gonna pull this through. I'm a little shy for our end. We'll just pretend again. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is just tighten that up. And then what you would do is you take all your strands. All right, one of my sides is not going to be perfect. Um, so we take our strands together where the knots are. Okay, like that. And kind of get them all in the same place. And then what you're going to do is just tie a, an overhand knot. Getting all your strands at one time through. And then just make sure you snuck it up as close as you can to where you started with your, your chain four. So that holds those into place. Now, do the same thing with the other side. And you know what I'm going to have to do is, well, we'll pretend again. All right, because one is going to be short. So we're going to tie them. See, I'm a little short right here, but that's okay. In the scheme of things, you'd never notice it anyway. So I'm going to do my overhand knot, making sure I get all the strands, and I'm going to pull it through. Like that. And again, snug it up as close as you can to where the, the cha first chain started. And then I'm going to pull on it, and there you go. So there's your little three chain. So you can see how that works. So if you wanted to, you could have made, you know, one shorter, you know, consecutively go a little shorter, a little shorter so that you see them all, or you can just do a whole bunch of them like this. And then once you have it like this, then what you can do is you take all your strands and you straighten them out, cut to make sure they're all the same length. And let's do the other side too. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to actually cut this short one off so that we can have it all long. And oh, what we want to do is make sure they're both the same length. So let's match up our knots and let's cut it right here to match. There we go. So they're all the same size. So there we go. So now what you can do is either get some kind of a finding 
you know, to make a finished uh, clasp on the, on the end, or you can simply take them all together like this, do an overhand knot, tie them. I don't think I got all of them. You have to be careful and make sure that you grab all of them. And then pull on it. And there you go. And then you can trim this off. Now, can you imagine this would be a great, a great project to do with your kids or a young uh, group, Girl Scouts or something like this? So there's your little necklace. Nice and easy. Um, and you can easily customize however you want to do this. So there you go. And all you need to do now is just find a bunch of ladder yarn. Um, and this will yield tons of necklaces. So there you go. So now that you have the basics, think of all those people that you can make these necklaces for that would just love to get one. Thank you again for joining me. And please remember, keep a focus on fiber. See you the next time. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.